Hello guys and welcome back to Stardew Valley and Dragon Grove Farm! In the last episode we remodeled the farm a ton and we also got a ton of iridium in the mines. So in this episode we will continue doing what we did but we also got this in the mines and we're giving it to Emily. Because I got it especially for you. Have a good day though. We're off. Now then, weather report going to be cloudy with gusts of wind throughout the day. Ah, uh, that sucks. But we're going to have to go to the museum with this. And let's take a look. The murky rolls. Where are you? Um, I might be blind. Just so you know. There they are. Fish, seaweed and rice. Okay. I'm gonna have to go to the store then and pick up some rice. But that should be fine. That we should be able to do fairly well. Now then, let's drop off the things we got yesterday. We didn't have any of these seeds actually. Do we have any? Um, no, we didn't have any of them. Well, that's fine. We have them now. And let's drop off the rest of the things. Uh, we do have quite a bit of coal. As I said in the last episode, they're not as hard to get. But we might want to sell the metal bars a bit more then. Actually, let's just uh, get to work on a few metal bars. Because uh, we could get quite a lot of stuff out of them. We do have enough of these for some bars too. Um, do I keep my bars in here? Yes, I do. One iridium bar. We do have quite a lot of gold. And we do need the iridium for the sprinklers. And that would be very nice. We also need the battery packs for them. But um, I think if we could get these going, we could have a really nice setup with them next season. Not next season, because that's winter, you know. But uh, after that. And also, I think I'll probably prepare the <laughs> farm a bit for the season after winter again, once uh, that is done. But yeah, I think that will work out. Also, we need to make one of these. Not sure if it will do anything specific, but <laughs> it might as well. Now then, let's get to work. I haven't done anything with these in a while. Oh no, I forgot to close the doors. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Did I produce anything then? They did. All right. I need to find Alice and I need to pet her. Hi. There you go. It's very important to pet Alice. Also truffle. I keep calling waffles truffles. But uh, <laughs> I swear it's not on purpose. Okay. So we have the truffle. And we're going to have the maki roll very soon. We just need to um, pick up the rice so we can make it. And then. Also don't think I need to water the fairy roses once they've grown. They can just stand there. Um, there you are. For a second I got panicked and thought I had left the watering can in the desert. But I was very sure I picked it up. So that shouldn't have happened. Alright. I wonder what the duck feather sells for. I'm pretty sure it's very valuable though. So I probably shouldn't sell it. As far as giving people gifts as well. Okay, let's keep the milk, but I'm just gonna sell off the eggs. Now then, let's head off to the shop faster. We need rice. We need lots of it. And we also need that plum. You're mine now. <laughs> I'm so evil, picking fruit off the ground. Oh well. Pierre, sir, I have a request to make of you. Can I give you some money in exchange for a type of plant? We do need it. Um, rice. Thank you. I don't know if we can grow that ourselves anyway. Probably can't. We can afford this though. To all wallpapers and floors from the convenience of your home. We should probably pick that up actually to be honest. Have we grown any artichokes? I'm pretty sure we have. You can always pick it up later if we don't. But. 
Yeah, I kind of want this because we need to decorate our whole house and make it a little bit more pretty. Because right now, it is a mess. A humongous, terrible mess. Right then. Time to make some lucky rolls. Let me get my knives. Fish. We need a little fish. Can take the oyster. And mackerels and truffles. Perfect. Now we can finish another one of the bundles. And that leaves only a couple more. Hello, Pam. I might actually want to head out to the desert again today, seeing as it's... Once I did not pick you up yesterday, I'm not gonna make the same mistake today. Die. Let's see. We need a rabbit's foot. We need three specific fish. And that's all. Four more items. There we go. And mackerel. This is actually good energy. There we go. And our reward is... Cake! There's a little heart candy on top. That is lovely. And there's this. We might either be lucky and pick that up from... Uh, from the traveling merchant or we need to keep petting Alice as much as we can. We might have it by the end of the year. But it was so close. And hopefully we'll get a rainy day very soon. Very, very soon. Or else might be a little bit sad. But I think Vincent likes these cakes. I need to find them. Yeah, they're over here. Do you want the cake? Because I really need to get in your room. Wow, thank you so much. This is terrific. I think that is one of his favorite things. Miss Penny says I have to read this book before I can go play. Yeah, she's out reading a book in the sunny weather. Maybe you can ask if you can do that too. Let's see. Too hot. We can go and get the toy box done. But first, Amphibium. Over there. No reward though. It's stingy with the rewards. But I suppose it's like EXP takes much more time to get once you have gotten quite a few things. Because I got them all the time in the start. A relatively short hind leg suggests some kind of primordial toad. That's interesting. Those with the kind of shovelish heads, I suppose. I'm not sure what they're called. So they look a little bit, you know, like toads, but they're much more flat. Right, we need to go home and pick up the strange bun. But first we might as well go down to the beach, seeing as we haven't been there in a little bit. This is not too bad though. Not a terribly great haul, but uh, not a terribly bad one either. Okay, time to go home, pick up the strange bun, sell a few things. Maybe go off to the desert. I don't know. I spent quite a bit of time today already By the way, we should go and get something to Krobus. We haven't been down by him in a while Hello I think you need a gift. You're so alone down here. He probably has other customers who come through somewhere No Thank you. You're welcome Hmm I suppose you could just buy lots of Omni Geodes and see what you can get from them. And I was thinking that we might not want to buy the catalog in case we could buy this. But it's 2 million, not 200,000. If it was 200,000, I might have worked on that, but uh, no. Not gonna. Not gonna at all. Anything good? Not much. A little bit of resin. Let's pick it up. Uh, but aside from that, not much else. I'm gonna deal with the fruit a little bit later on. You can just keep growing anyway. Not growing. I suppose I'll take it down and put up some trees a little bit more to the inside. And then go out and pick up that bun that I put in a random box. It's supposed to stay in here. Oh, there's the beets. Oh, this is what happens when I don't keep up with my system. Turns to shit. 
There's no space here. Take out this scarecrow. We could put it up somewhere. And you just stay right here next to the bear. What do we have, though? Lots of cool stuff. <laughs> we can make this into a dungeon. Ah. Uh, maybe we should do that. I'm gonna um, work on this a little bit later on, though. But there's a lot of things to pick from here. We're gonna look at that a bit more later on. But for now, where did I put that strange bun? Um. There you are. You're coming with me. To the scarecrow. You just stay there for the time being. You can look longingly at the field, but not actually be able to go there. That seems nice. Hello, I'm just gonna gonna do something. Don't even mind me. I have a mission. No, don't need it. Uh, what in the world is this? Frogumon. Okay. Hi, um, I'm not doing anything. I'm just leaving with this uh, <laughs> absurd creature. Don't, don't mind me. I'm, uh, bye. Yeah. <laughs> uh, excuse me. I um, I don't think, I don't think he noticed anything off. I think he just found it to be completely um normal. It's uh, it's it's fine. It's okay. Um. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't mind me. Okay, where should we put this guy though? Where should we put him? Maybe next to the um, skeleton that we have. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. If we make the house into a dungeon and we put up that guy, he could be the gatekeeper, I suppose. And the naked old man will be in the back. Waiting for... Um, uh, this is going to a dark place. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. I, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, but it's weird and um, uh, plants. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's get to the mushrooms. Nothing gets worse if I just pick up some mushrooms, right? Hi. Um, I'll be quiet now. I do wonder what this is about, though. It'll probably be about something at some point. Let's get these. We go and close this off. Now Alice isn't nearly uh, close enough to drop a rabbit's foot, I think, but uh, we will keep trying. And I think we'll go to the mines tomorrow to see if we can uh, perhaps get one off the eels. Hi. I'm just gonna move through here. Let's just. There we go. I know, I'm taking a lot of damage, but it's best to do this today before I'm going to the mine so I don't come home hurt and they try to kill me. How many slimes are in here, by the way? I think there might be room for the blue slime, but I'm not sure. That one just climbed over the fence. Can they do that? Let's see. Crop up all the mushrooms. And... Yeah, we'll just sell everything. It's good money. And you. And I still don't need to bring around the bombs everywhere. Should probably bring the bombs out to the desert and drop them off there, though. Oh, you are going down by the slime hutch. That you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. They need a scarecrow down there, because I think the crows are coming to take the plants away quite a bit. Alright, where shall we put you? looks nice. Now then, trees. Trees, trees, trees. Where did I put them? I think I put them in here. Um, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Good, good. We have peach, pomegranate, cherry, and apple. And, uh, apricot. I think we're missing one thing as we put up one tree. But I'll see which one it is tomorrow. 
so I don't remember which one it is. But I'm fairly certain it will not grow the, where it is. So, sorry tree, but you're going to die. Horribly. Through an axe. Boom. Now yeah, then. That should be an appropriate location. And a one. And a two. And there you go. And I think I want to put one up here so it gets even. And I'm not sure if we can have a proper location between these two. One, two, and three. And one, two, and three. Oh, we do. Perfect. Not bad at all. And then we'll grow all the plants in between these. And then there's you. I'll probably plant some more trees when the time comes. But, uh... We'll start down here. Lovely. So that leaves us with some space. We just need you to measure. Because there's one, and up to you. There, there. Perfect. Not bad at all. And we'll have a nice little grove in there. Well then, we are off to sleep. And then we will go mining tomorrow. And it will be good. Not so bad on the money either. Alright. So it is the windy day. And uh, that kind of sucks. Was it a sunny day today? I don't remember. But anyway, Queen of Souls rerun. Plum pudding. Little Jack Horner is chomping at the bit for this ooey gooey delight. And who can blame him? The plums are floral and sweet, with just the right amount of tartness and full to fully activate every last one of your eager taste buds. You'll just have to try and see it for yourself. Nice. We didn't have that. Right. It's going to be cloudy with gusts of wind. I'm getting sick of that. You? No, not that side, I think. Just in case I get stuck when I really need to go home at night. Now then, let's go. Um, was it George's birthday today or was that, uh, did we skip that? Oh, it is today. I think he liked dandelions. So bring one of those. And then we might work on decorating the house. First of all, I have not de dealt with the crab pots at home for a while. There you go, guys. Off you go. Have fun. Now then, uh, let's go. Ooh, hello. We do have eggplants and a purple mushroom. Did we max out Rasmodius yet? No, we're very close. We need to go over with this then. He'll enjoy it. It is one of the foraged mushrooms and not one of the cave mushrooms, but oh uh, well. It will be okay, I suppose. I don't know if it actually matters what you give people in terms of the quality. But, oh well. It's not the biggest of deals. I do have a decent amount of money anyway, and the little bit of money that we'll give is not the end of the world. But... Let's be off. We have plenty of things to do today. I completely forgot about Jody's quest. We don't have it anymore. Buying one diamond at twice the market value. Please deliver directly into my hand. Will do. And yeah. I already checked that. I don't need to check it again. Hello, George. It's my birthday and you give me this. Ah, oh, that was not the one he liked. Sorry, I messed up. Oh well, he's pissed off anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Hi. You're welcome. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure. What do you think about my haircut? Looks very fashionable or it looks like some kind of fungal growth. It does definitely look not look like some kind of fungal growth. It's fashionable. Yeah, I know. That's why I have it like this. Ah... You silly, silly person, you. What kind of question is that you ask, then, if you're just gonna be cocky about it? Silly Alex. Silly Alex is silly. Oh, 
I'll have to bring Pierre a diamond a little bit later on. But we do have time to rush around a bit. Talk to Rasmodius. Have some fun. Hello, pheasants. Bow before me, pheasants. I'm following you. You can't escape me. Or maybe you can if you're going off screen. I can't follow you out there. Oh well. It's that dastardly old off screen trick. They always do that. Try to outwit me by going off screen. Ha ha ha, and a mushroom. Here you go. Maxed out yet? Yes! It takes years of study to. Uh, I've heard this before. Now, if you'll excuse me, maybe I'll get some cutscene with him later on. But not yet. Okay, off to find Pam and look for more iridium and maybe possibly hopefully a rabbit's foot. Is there anything good about before we do anything else? Could go and talk to Sandy but I'm not gonna spend too much time wandering around here. I see the fruit over here though. I'm gonna go and pick that up. Two of them. Nice. And wormies that I need to slay. Just some clay though. But today we don't have so many things in our inventory, so maybe we'll be able to bring what we have in here back home. I'm not gonna make it my top priority exactly, but uh, some of it. Ah, the torches are just not necessary though. Um, yeah, just drop that off you. Really don't need to drop off everything, do I? Just a few things. Sword in hand. Cardinal rule that I have. The only rule that I really have in this game. But it is the one rule I tend to forget the most as well. Why? Because it's the only rule. So which other rule would I forget? But oh well, it is fine. Hi! Coming to see me? Already? Come on. There we go. Lovely. And the critical hits seem to me fairly deadly already. But um, they might as well be more deadly. So I have that trait now. And that is good. There are probably some uh, guide of which traits are the best to have in general. But I do like to just try stuff in my own time and uh, on my own, in my own ways. Hi! Nothing good dropping though. They only drop those essences all the time. It's such a boring drop though. I don't like them. Hi! Five levels. Uh, that's that's too bad. Hi guys. Uh, let's we'll start off by picking these. It's one of the star rooms, so so if I do this badly, I'm gonna have to fight them several times. Up you go, and you. I suppose I can bomb them. You know, just like, sell the rules. But, uh, I don't want to just have to bomb them every single time. They're slow moving, though. Nice! Stairs here. But I would like to find either a hole or a ladder. I thought it looked like a bomb for a second in the side of my eye. There we go. Another five levels. This is bad for my health. I do have a decent amount still though. But this is real nice. If we're lucky, we're gonna get so much metal off of this. Now where is it coming from? Where are you coming from, eel? Where? I might be confusing that sky eel thing with um with that uh, book series. What was it called? Um, 
the Stormlight Light Archive, which is a really nice uh, book series as well. It's really long. Each book, that is. The series isn't long, but each book is really long. So, <laughs> that is up to you if you want to read it or not. But it is good. Really good. But I think there were sky eels in that too. Then again, flying eels in any place might be sky eels. So, why not? Copper's over there. I'll go and get it, I suppose. I do have the time. I do have nothing but time to gather up metals. But yeah, I do like that book series. Sadly, the next book is not out yet, but it will be soon. Just in time for my birthday, I suppose. So, birthday gift to me? Maybe? My gift to myself? I do like having a good gift for myself. Anything good here, though? Not much. Not much at all. Hello. Just a hazard bug. And iridium. Nice. And the iridium bar. Even nicer. What is the drop right for that, I wonder? That cannot be very high at all. I'm having luck with the iridium lately. I'm content with that. Can't say I complained at all. Prismatic shard. I've heard about this. Um. Is this not what you cannot put in the crystallarium? Because I'm pretty sure that is the case. Well, and that is going straight to the museum. And magma geodes. We have lots of things to do tomorrow, it seems. Okay. Two of you at once. I can do that. Well, not really at once, anyway. I'm just gonna pick up this and then we'll be off. Just a second. No, 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 no. Bad. But then again, maybe this is good. We can have a good chance of picking up... Um, Rabbits, but if any of them are willing. We are taking a bit of damage, so... Mm. Okay, let's go. I got a little too dangerous for my tastes. Let's eat this. Get some of our health and our strength back. Should we just eat these? I'll eat some of the eel. Now we have the movement buff. I don't think we got it before. It's just weird. Well, this one should have a staircase at the end anyway. And it's a good floor to have a movement buff on. Coles! Hello! I'm gonna have to go and work on some metal bars when we get home. This is good. This run is really good. I'm not about to just lay down and die. Which is why I left the eels, even though they could drop the rabbit's foot, I suppose. That is what I'm told, anyway. So if they do, I will be very happy about that, because that's one more bundle complete, and then we'll only have three more to go. And I really want that friendship buff, because then I probably will get so many cutscenes, and it will be good. It will be so good. Hello. Okay, one skeleton, one magma geode. Not a skeleton. A mummy. I'm just gonna leave you in there. Because you're pretty much stuck. You're the only one though. And I kind of want to check out that box. Let's just do this. Nothing. Right. Continue our search for stairs. Can we find the floors or the stairs soon, please? This is just annoying. Finally. Right, I'm gonna have to incapacitate you though, to move on. It's one of those long ones. Two of them down here. These guys hit hard though. Three of them actually. I don't know if I'll actually get anything. Alright, 
I would like to check what's at the bottom of this floor, though. Anything? Iron and copper. Not worth it. We'll be off. Six levels. Ouch. That's rather bad. I'm gonna eat up a cave carrot. At floor level 24 now. Eat the cave carrots. Get our health up pretty badly. Or nicely. Anything good here though? Not much. Alright. Didn't look like there was anything else on this floor. So let's be off. Hello there. Slimies! Hi! I need to fight. Do you have good drops for me? There are so many of you. Hi! I'll slay all of you and get as much iridium as I possibly can. This is lovely. I got stuck behind the stairs. Poor thing. Oh, that's good iridium. We have 9 and the bar, so almost 15. Which is so nice. Doesn't look like there's anything else on this floor. More mummies. This is bad. This is a bad angle to come at it from. Okay. Uh, I need you all incapacitated so I can move through. It turns into a solid block though. Just uh, run past them. Run, 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 run. Run. Okay. It does look like I'm out of luck for now though. So we'll be off. I actually haven't checked out the fortune teller if that is up to the luck or not. But maybe I should. Also, I should put this on the fishing pole so I can carry more stuff. And bring the everything. I'll put the torches at home. And bring you. You're not important for now. Okay. So we'll go home. We'll set up some metal bars for smelting. And then that will be it for this episode. But home we go. And then we need to remember to put a diamond in our inventory so we can give that to Pierre next time. Because I don't want to forget that. Right. Off we go. We're speedy. Speed speedy meta is speedy. Right. Loads of things to drop off. Oh, we do have so many things in our inventory now. So you, you, you and you tomorrow. And then all of these. That is excellent. We'll have so, so much of those. And before we go, we might as well set a few more things to be seeds. Or I suppose we can take the wheat out. Do we have wheat seeds? We do. We have a bunch. So we'll be working on that a bit more. But we'll turn these into grains. Can we take all of you at the same time, by the way? I don't know if these can be turned into, um, into, um, flour, but we might as well try. Can you? Nope, doesn't look like it. Can't be milled. So, wheat and beets, uh, but not those. So, we'll have to make a bunch more beets. We might be able to make a bunch of sugar for it. But that seems good otherwise. And that is going to be it for this episode. So many things in here. I don't think I closed the doors for the animals, by the way. I don't think I did, but I don't have time to go over there now. Oh well. That is it for this episode, so goodbye for now, and take care.